Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Captain of Industry. I'm going to go ahead and hit play here. <clears throat> We're a little stalled. Our colony is a little bit stalled, but there's nothing to fear. Things are going to rebound. I'm pretty sure of it. What did we do last episode? We got our... Oh, check it out. Our ship left. Our cargo ship left. Nice. We got a cargo depot built. Uh, let's add a little bit of minimum diesel fuel storage to our cargo depot. Yeah, we've got a cargo depot set up here. Um, we had repaired the ship earlier and the ship is off. Can we see where it's at? Uh, I don't see. I don't know. I don't know where it's at, but what we're doing right now is trying to get our maintenance going. We've got a little bit of an issue with coal. Looks like we're starting to have a supply. What I'm going to do is shut off our charcoal burners. We turn these on temporarily. I don't want to chew up all our wood if I can help it. So we'll pause those down again. And hopefully we'll turn the corner on our iron production. That's really the thing that's that we're missing. For the maintenance. The maintenance should rebound. And then we also need iron plates for construction materials so we can finish our pipeline of acid. We've just been going around kind of babysitting some of the equipment here and applying unity based maintenance. Not my favorite thing to do, but we're kind of stuck. Kind of stuck having to do that. Here's more coal. This guy looks like he almost doesn't have a place to deliver it. Hey, there's our ship. Did he actually bring back some oil? Looks like it. Okay, he's emptying oil. We need to put, get this pipe going um, over to here. Huh. It's going to be a huge pipe, but we probably need to do that. That's how we're set up. This is our crude. How do we want to do it? Oh man, it's a little ugly through here. But we'll make it work for sure. Can maybe just come through here. And around and then over and in. I'm wondering if we should have some extra storage over here too. What about that? Oh, interesting. Is that? No, I see. I was going to say, it almost looked like when it was like this, that it was showing there's two different materials that can be loading in. Looks like that's just crude. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Is there any reason not to connect both? I'm not sure if that increases the throughput. Maybe it does. I would guess it does, right? I'm going to experiment a little bit. This is just, I'm just experimenting. The idea here is that maybe we can unload the, uh, the dock faster this way or unload the oil faster this way. By having two pipes come out and then having enough storage for material. These tanks aren't very expensive. Now we did see an issue where the throughput was kind of slow through here. I'm wondering if I should prioritize the level two pipes at this point they're kind of expensive that's the only thing we put 200 do i care um 
it's just they're just kind of expensive let's let that get built again we're hurting a little bit on our our iron processing we're gonna need to double this up like pretty soon But I hate to add more construction projects. Okay, this guy is complaining. Is it just something like this? Let's see. <clears throat> I'm just wondering if there's something up with this pipe. Because when I placed it, there were issues. But, man, I've got construction materials. Can I prioritize this pipe and just see what the problem is? I don't see any warnings here. Let's prioritize it and see if that gets built. Uh, power. Pair that. Um, oh, I can upgrade the pipe pretty easily. That's always an option. Pair this guy. So now power is back to being happy. Workers are down. This guy. A settlement. Loading required materials. Still waiting on that. Then I've got another settlement. Uh, I'll show you. I'm just worried about the workers. Let's see if we can turn the beacon on. And get some more workers in here. Uh, we've got housing. Plenty of housing. Is this... What is that? Is that telling me something is a problem? Or is it just telling me it's high priority? Maybe it's just telling me it's high priority. All right. Um, oh, yeah. Let me show you something on the map. So I was looking here, and I was looking at these trade things. And, you know, I'm just not compelled to do this kind of trade. These construction parts take a lot of wood. And wood is kind of a limited resource on our island. Um, this is for rubber, but I think we're going to have tons of rubber. So these trade offers don't look very compelling to me, really, at all. Um, but this, it's a little different in this town. So here, we're going to be able to get electronics. We may, I don't know if we'll be able to produce those ourselves or not, but we can produce construction part threes. I think we're in the process of researching those, or we've already unlocked them. And then steel to diesel, that could be compelling. But even diesel to coal could be compelling, right? I think that offshore oil rig is going to be infinite. And if we could trade some of that for a bunch of coal, maybe that makes some sense for us. So I clicked on, you know, upgrade infrastructure here. There's a button I clicked on just before this episode. So we'll deliver some materials over there as well. Let's escape out of this. There is our cargo ship bringing more oil. That's good to see. Would love to see these pipes get developed. Okay, looks like we're getting something done here. Yeah, they're just regular construction parts. We got a lot of farms turned off. We got the beacon turned on. Power looks okay. We have Unity is good. Let's do our Fuel Saver Edict. Let's put that back on. It's going to cost us a Unity. But that will save us fuel, obviously. And then let's keep an eye on the coal and keep this thing going. Okay, we've got some plates being produced. Now it looks like iron is short, believe it or not. Hard to believe. Could be something related to that. I should have another truck sitting somewhere complaining. Right, we've got two. Where are they? Are they maybe they're stacked on top of each other? Nope. Here he comes. Let's preemptively repair these guys. Once we get some of this stuff built, then I think it's going to be time to shore up the uh, the iron production. That may be the next thing we do. Maybe another maintenance depot and then shore up the iron production. The ship is going to be waiting for... Oh, does it have the construction parts it needs? Looks like it. Don't think they're going to let me... Repair. I think this is a different settlement. Um, <clears throat> shoot. 
let's go yeah uh here's my dilemma why i'm stumbling here this settlement is the one i first said to upgrade and i think those are the materials that we have on the ship right now are earmarked for this one i don't really want to upgrade this one but let's do it and see what happens we might get some um settlers as a result of this or some refugees and we do need we do need them even with the beacon turned on we need some more workers that's not the end of the world and then when he comes back we will uh maybe go unlock the other the other village and then it'd be nice if we could up armor things some more but we're still waiting on this the armor plating so that's chewing up a lot of our iron too but we only need 60 more plates. Okay, what's the holdup now? Coal. Why? Okay, slag. We got to get rid of that slag. I see. I see. Yeah, we've got maintenance issues with the truck fleet. We could try and repair some of these guys. The slag is backed up. We just don't have a lot of, we have a lot of trucks that are having maintenance problems. We can kind of go around and just get some of these by hand, I suppose. Fuel truck needs maintenance. Kind of get that slag out of here. We're a little short on workers. We could turn off another farm, believe it or not. We've got tons. Uh, the inventory on these is low, though. I'm surprised. Usually, we always have a ton. How's food looking, actually? 893. It's come down a little bit. Still pretty good. I'm just going to kind of hand like a clicker game. Um, spend some unity to keep our truck fleet moving. Can't be too far off when things will be in the clear, but we're not there yet. We got plenty of power, it looks like. This is our main dude. This is the main factory we're concerned about right now to get us around the corner. Okay, that guy's unloading the slag. Making very slow progress on our pipeline. We are producing maintenance using the... Oh, we're doing both, copper and impure copper. So some iron plates are making their way down here. So that's good to see. It's really good to see. Let's go see where our ship is. Now, what, what is there to do here? Oh, he's got to do two, <laughs> two trips. Oh man, that's a little, a little annoying. That's all right. We'll send him home. One worker short. Let's see what the beacon says. We shut this off. We'll get a couple of workers back. 16 refugees in less than five months. Okay. Water, hopefully our water collectors are helping us out a little. They don't seem to be doing as much as they once did. I don't know if these got nerfed a little bit or if it's just me, my perception. All right, are you guys delivering goods here? You 
Yep, we've got we got a lot of need for iron plates. Be cool if you could pick up metal scrap, right? From the colonies, the other colonies, just to kind of bring that back into the game a little bit. So early on when you first start the game, if you join the series late, there's a little abandoned radio tower that you kind of scrap, and then you can get your first supply of molten iron from that. Be cool if they reworked that back into the game, kind of into the late game, where you could trade and get some metal scrap or something. Or if your trucks just totally broke down after a certain point and you could scrap them. I guess I could double speed it. I think we're okay. Fuel's looking pretty good. I don't know if this is going to back up now on us. Okay, he's empty. Fuel is still good. Still have maintenance issues. I see trucks trying to get this pipeline built. Main thing is this, we need these iron plates for maintenance, we need the, my, uh, the iron plates for construction parts. There's just a big demand on this. I don't want to throw more factories down though, because I want to get this stuff built and done. Oh, unity is pretty low. We need more workers. Let's see, how much more time on the beacon? Less than a month, we'll get 16. That'll help a little. All right, this guy says construction parts. Did I not do something? Oh no, I see, I see. Start loading. We're almost done with the um, up armoring. Oh, check it out. We just got that delivered. So that's gonna, that's gonna help our supply of uh, iron plates. And I see we just got refugees came on. So that should be done, right? Is there anything I need to do for this? Uh, okay, armor 10. Ship engine, can I do... Is there anything I can do here? Settlement, start loading the ship. A required cargo logo, we can send the ship on its way. The heck, let me escape out of here. Let's turn off the beacon. That'll get us save us a couple workers too. We've got enough workers at the moment. Let's see what this is doing here for us. Okay, all required cargo loaded, we can send the ship on its way. I'm not sure where, <laughs> where we're going. Somehow I got some impure copper. I have no idea where that came from. That's in the shipyard. Start loading the ship. Let's just do that. Oh, what? I'm totally confused. Start loading the ship. Start loading the ship. All required cargo loaded. Uh, I'm, conf I'm super confused. I got 40 construction parts. Let's go here. Let's see if we can deliver cargo to this guy. Hopefully that's what we're doing. And hopefully we get some refugees back. Okay, they brought, <laughs> they didn't bring much with them. 10 copper, 5 rubber, and 10 diesel. But they're workers and we need workers. We could turn down the oil rig shift down to two shifts. Maybe that will allow it to run. I don't know. Tempted to pause another farm, but man. Foods at 879. Could do it. 
how are we doing on our pipeline? Oh, yeah. That's good to see. Just got to get these tanks built. Tanks. Let's prioritize these guys. Those are our acid tanks. And once those are, once that pipeline's going, um, our two electrolyzers, electrolysis machines should start humming along and we'll be in good shape. Eventually we're going to have to ramp up the power too. Um, okay, maximum capacity is way up here and our consumed is somewhere down here. 490, it seems to peak around 490. We've got 650. We've got, looks like we've got a little headroom there. That's all pretty much coal based. Okay, we've got our new settlement. Now, I wonder if these guys are going to be happier in these homes. We get more unity out of this or not. Um, can we tell? I don't see anything like I'm wondering, should I be upgrading these actively upgrading these? Is it worth doing or is it, does it just give us capacity? Settlements. Is this all the same screen here? No matter where I click. Yeah, it looks like it, right? Population overview. Okay. Let's look at the housing. I just want to learn about this. Primitive housing for 60 made of shipping containers. Advanced housing for 120. Provides more comfort. It can also provide a monthly unity increase if the housing is provided with required services. Okay, well it is, I think. What other required services do you need? Food market. Water facility and transformer. How is our water facility doing? Transformers on. We got plenty of water. Nice. Couple tanks stored up. I like it. Very good. We'll have a lot of projects here to build, mostly tanks. <laughs> we got two tanks over here and a bunch over here for the crude oil. And eventually we were going to want to probably belt those plates, those iron plates over here somehow. Maybe, maybe we do that from this iron deposit or something. Maybe we bet plant. Oh, that's a long ways though. Mm, not sure. Let's look at these iron deposits here. How much do we have? That looks kind of puny, right? And over here, we have more. We'll see. We'll see. We may run out of resources at some point, and that'll probably end the series. How's our mining designation look? Tons. We've got tons of room for that. Maintenance to 2%. 0%. I see these guys are getting built slowly. That one needs four more. That one needs 15 more. Construction parts. In the meantime, these guys are bringing over plenty of iron. We could drop another maintenance depot down. Burning through our pure copper, but we've got plenty. Um, yeah, again, I want to wait till things get built. We're at double speed. Let's go check our ship. He's out there. Okay, adopt 10 population for two and a half unity. Okay. Sure, I guess. 
And let's grab another two and a half. And another two and a half. Will they fit on the boat? Oops. I think I got too many. <laughs> I got 40. All right, whatever. Come back to home. And then uh, we'll have the workers we need and we can ramp some stuff up. I think this has been paused for a while. Let's, let's get the research going again. Okay, one tank is done. Let's assign it to acid. I usually forget that step. Hopefully we'll see it flow. Let's keep a look on the pipe directions here. There's probably some, this pipe, there's something peculiar about it. So we don't see anything flowing through there. Is there a section that's got the wrong direction? Because this thing should be loaded with acid. If we can troubleshoot this. Oh, look at the X's and O's are different now on this one. Oh man, is that annoying? All right. That should do it for us. They use alternative priority ports O instead of the X's. Oh man, that's annoying. Um, because we didn't see the X's and O's when we placed this. Oh man, is that that's um not happy about that <laughs> it's not the end of the world but we had a ton of acid and we just dumped it all out in the ocean um that's a little um a little not making me happy about that because now that's going to hold up our copper production and what i did a couple episodes ago we placed this down i'll show you what happens and see what I'm talking about. I go to these guys and I place the pipe balancer down, right? I cannot see any X's or O's on that thing. Maybe you can, but I don't. I don't see them at all, right? So as we're building, I'm like, all right, well, let me place this guy down uh, over where our acid is. Uh, where are we? Over here, we placed it down. And then I, and since I couldn't see the X's and O's, I went and looked for an existing one that we had. And I seem to remember placing this one just like this in this direction when I plunked it down. Maybe I'm mistaken. And it's like, hey, the X is on the left. So that's why when I place this guy down over here, I assumed, oh, the X is on the left. So we want the priority flow going this way over to our copper mine or over to where we're doing the refined copper. But as it turns out, when this thing finally showed its true self, the X's and O's were different. So that is where my frustration lies, but can't do anything about it, but cry in my beard, not a big deal. This ramp is not getting done at all. There's no landfill taking place over here. Maybe it's just not convenient. I what I'm talking about. This fill area. Oh, maybe it's these trees in the way or something. Still seems like they should be able to fill that one. That square. Not sure what's going on there. Little concerned about that. Little concerned about diesel. Maintenance, I'm not too worried about. I see that we're accruing some iron plates. That's super good to see. Right now we're trucking them over to the maintenance depot. Oh, yeah, we need that acid. Oh, man, yeah, that is frustrating. Got to say it. That's a disappointment. <clears throat> Until we get some crude over here. Let's see if they'll deliver some of this crude over to that tank. Like this guy may pick up the ball and do it for us. We got to run a pipeline through here. Yeah, there it goes. We should get a little bit of processing here now. 
Here comes the oil. Flows kind of slow. There it goes through that cycle. Then this guy's going to go through his cycle. Hopefully. All right. Then I'll kick out some sour water. That should all go to these guys. None of that should go in the dump. Okay, this guy's still doing his thing. Boom, there's 24 sour water on the pipe. Here it comes in. This guy's going to process. We'll get 12 acid out of that, and we should see that acid. Hopefully, if this is set up right. Man, that's frustrating. Um, okay, we've got acid in this pipe. Should go through here. Not through there. There it is. It's flowing this way. And it's got a long run to go, but it beats trucking it. Should find its way into one of these tanks. Gonna take a while to get here, probably. Okay, we've got acid in this pipe. Nice to see this thing run. Uh, we're running double speed. Okay, there is acid in that pipe. It's on its way, I believe. Unless I got these tanks on backwards. I don't see it running through just yet. Like I said, when I placed this, it was a little weird. Okay, there it is flowing there. The maintenance is kind of actually showing some percentages, so that's kind of rebounded like I thought it would. Okay, we're, the acid is making its way through the pipeline. That's good to see. There it is there. Boom. Good to see it come down through here. Nice. I like it. Into the tank. Good. Through this tank, hopefully. And I see stuff happening. These guys are starting to get some acid. Slowly. Very slowly. And it make its way up this ramp? It's got to be able to, right? Yeah, here it comes. And down it goes. All right. All right. All right. So slowly. It flows kind of slow. Seems like it flows slow, but I guess it's doing its thing. There's our refined copper. And that should be making its way into here. And we can turn off the impure copper right now. Now that that is all built, why don't we put down another maintenance depot or two? Let's do it. Um, where are you buildings? Maintenance depot. Oh, I need to. All right. What I'm thinking about now is the plates. How do we want to get the iron plates delivered or at least put into a warehouse? Hmm. How would we want to route that? We need to do some belt weaving for sure. Um, sorry for the delay. It's our impure copper. We don't care about that. We want to fork off of this and have another belt of iron plates. This may need, this belt may need to come back actually. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. I'll show you what I'm thinking. Uh, I want to 
have a conveyor come off this way, but elevated. That's fine. I don't care. That's I'm okay with that actually. Try that. <clears throat> and then, um, so that's eventually going to be iron plates. And then maintenance depot number two. Could plop down here a little further over. I know. Are we? No, we're not encroaching on any ore deposits. I want two more maintenance depots kind of along here and then belt this refined copper into them is the idea. And the iron plates belt those in as well. Um, and then I guess we don't need to ship the maintenance parts anywhere. They're kind of automatically distributed, I guess. Let's go one more over just for goodness sake. I'm going to do the two. Probably not the best way to do this, but I'm doing it. Conveyor. Okay, there's the iron plates coming in. There's the um, pretty copper, the good high quality copper coming in. And then how about a warehouse or something? Hmm. A warehouse. I'm thinking about a warehouse for the iron plates. That's <clears throat> going to feed this belt. And then I'm just now thinking about where, how is that? Let me turn off the overlay. Thinking about if I have a warehouse here full of iron plates, where is that going to be fed? Like ideally it would be belts. We've got iron processing here. We're going to have iron processing for a good long time. There's still a lot of ore over here. And then we're going to have iron processing over here somewhere, right? Way back here. So do I need to be concerned about how I would get belts into that? I guess we could do something like, uh, something like this. Whoops, wrong way. In theory, I can belt from way out there. Yeah, maybe like this. Okay, iron, same thing with this guy, iron. And then this belt kind of comes out this way. Something like that. And then eventually we can belt iron plates in from the our iron smelter over there. And then this other port can be used once we get the mine way back here set up. All right, all right, all right. And then this one, we probably want to say, hey, keep at least some in here. 
Oh, you're on acid. Yeah, look at all that acid. Yeah. See, I knew we were going to be fine. Um, power. Remember I was saying power, we're going to have problems. We might be there. Yeah, we're there. We are there. I think we need another setup like this. Did I check the ratios here? <clears throat> Let's do that, and then we'll uh, wrap up this episode. Let's just see what we've got. Steam comes out 48 per minute, and this guy is what? 24 and 24. Okay, that is good. This guy kicks out 1 megawatt. And what do you... Okay, that's just storage, I guess. This is... 500 kilowatts. 500 kilowatts. So do I have a bunch of surplus? Could I put just a couple more power generators? Right, if that's kicking out a megawatt, each one of these can drive two of these. I'm guessing... I'm deducing, maybe not guessing. I think I can, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I can just put two more of these guys down. Could be wrong. I don't know that we need it, but these guys were complaining about power a second ago. Full output. Okay, yeah, until we get the main and stuff going. Ooh, we're, yeah. What's going on here? This guy... Yeah, it's doing his thing. It's just slow. But he's using the refined copper. I think that's good. Um, We have a little cache here of impure copper in case we need it for anything. So I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Once these guys get built, we should see our maintenance uh, issues really rebound and be positive. And then we look up on the top right corner here, we can see there's only one little alert here. Not enough workers and small excavator is broken. That's fine. That'll get fixed soon on its own, I believe. All right, this guy's all loaded up with fuel. I love seeing that. Gun, I guess these, I did all these, right? Guns, rear. 240, let's do it. Damn. Uh, stuff's getting built. Stuff is getting built. I wonder if I should pause this. <laughs> I'm going to pause it. Because uh, <clears throat> I want these iron plates to, I want to finish building the stuff that we've got here on the island before we up armor the ship or whatever. Where can the ship go? How's this guy doing in terms of storage? Oop, 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 problems here. We gotta set our storage. Of course, I never do it. Crude oil. Crude oil. Yep, and yep. Not sure how many of these we should have. The idea is gonna be, well, we have, hmm. To finish my senses. I think we have an is there a way to upgrade these tanks at some point? Let's uh let's look at the tech tree. Yeah, storage two right here. So maybe we're okay with what we've got. Uh that's can we actually research this? Oh, coming soon. Coming soon. We don't have that yet. Bummer. Um I kind of want to prioritize this tank. Let's get this thing done. So we're going to run this. That's four tanks plus 180 here. So it's effectively like five tanks of storage there. Not to mention we could put another module here. That's five tanks plus we've got four tanks here. We could do more. I don't know what's overkill. We could easily do another four, right? Or another eight. Just store crude oil and just make sure that we're always just maximized on that. I think once the maintenance rebounds, we're going to have our oil rig going full on all the time. Yeah, look at the maintenance has improved quite a bit. And then if I can get some more people... We can run this thing three shifts. Ooh, check out food is starting to decline. 
721. We are going to need more people. We're going to need more people. I don't want to unload the crew. Um, what should we do? Should we be sending the ship out or should we wait until we up armor it one more notch? What are we doing? We really need to upgrade this next. Tell you what, let's wrap this episode here. I think what we're going to do next is scale up our iron plate production and maybe, maybe if we get inspired and we think it makes sense, maybe run a belt, an elevated belt kind of alongside of this um, acid pipeline to bring iron plates into these two item storages. And that will be a lot less diesel usage for our trucks. And it'll be a built-in buffer too, because that's going to be a huge belt. That'll be a built-in buffer. And then also in the process, we need another whole setup here. I don't know if we'll tear some of this out. It's kind of not optimal the way we've got this set up. It's served its purpose though. It's, it's served us well, really well in my view. But um, we know we need another setup, at least one more. In fact, we could maybe plan for three. Three smelters and six more, or um, three total smelters and six total casters, metal casters, doing the iron. That would be a significant scale up. Going on over here. These guys have wood, but nowhere to deliver it. That's fine. But yeah, I think that's the next thing. It's kind of long overdue to scale up our iron production and then we'll leave the ship in harbor for a bit. I believe we, we could go explore, but I'm just feel, I would feel a little more comfortable if we had the next set of guns. And then, yeah, we'll get, uh, and then we got to run that oil pipeline too and decide how much storage we actually want. And I should be piping the diesel into this guy so we're not shipping diesel. So there's a bunch of little maintenance things we'll do. And uh, we'll pick new research too. Let's uh, let's wrap this one here. War Analysis Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. Uh, special thanks to those of you that have been giving the videos a thumbs up. That does help my tiny channel grow. So if you enjoy the video, I definitely encourage you to give the videos a thumbs up and help my channel out. I definitely appreciate that. And for now, this is Glattercat signing off saying, I will see you in the next episode.